Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Improve your website speed, security and ad optimization in 2023 by linking Ezoic with Cloudflare. This tutorial will walk you through the integration process, ensuring a more efficient and secure online presence. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys that we will need to do is to simply head up to Ezoic dashboard. So, firstly, open your account and launch into the dashboard. The next thing is we need to add a site. So, here we will add um, a site. So, here we go. So, what is your site domain name? So, basically here we have to choose Ezoic as our uh, type of site. And then we have to go here and create a new site on anything so you have to use your site for me I'm going to create a new website on blogger it can be whatever you have in mind guys it can be any website that you own WordPress or whatever the most important thing is you have a domain name that we can connect later on to Cloudflare so there we go I have created a random name now click on view blog I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in here to save it and here we go now we just have to wait for this blue line to fill until the end it can take some time and here we are so now we have created our account successfully and here you have everything here we can add is like ads add leave flick by humex anything you have in mind you can see even the analytics here it is this, the dns and the connection so here we have the most important thing so the connection here you have four things you have sites integration cloudflare name servers troubleshooting so for now cloudflare in here to connect to cloudflare simply just have to follow their steps so Cloud, cloudflare is a website performance and security company that provides a content delivery network cdn DDoS mitigation and internet security service so to connect Simply click here to activate via your own account and here we have to finish our uh, setup so site integration uh, let's click here so we have to put here our Cloudflare email and password so simply go to Cloudflare here we go connect and click on sign up so here you have to create an account on Cloudflare simply here you just have to put your address so let me just copy that one here put whatever password you have in mind and there we go so now we just wait and our account should be created successfully without any problems here I'm going to explore everything and simply now go back to the Isoc website put here the address I'm not sure if the password was let's try to save nope it is not the same so Let's do that and let's see. So, Cloudflare error. This Cloudflare account does not have a zone of, for the domain. Uh, try to find so the different accounts. Okay, so now what we need to do is to actually add a domain name. So, domain registration, and we need to create uh, a new uh, domain in here. So, how to do that? Simply just head up to websites, and here, let me just close everything, register a new domain. And here you have to put our domain. So we have to copy this once more, put it in here, continue. A valid domain. Uh, yeah, we have to do this. And here we go for now. Please ensure you are providing the root domain and not any subdomain. All right. So it's going to be something like that, I guess. And there we go. So now we have connected our domain. What we're going to do is to go with the free plan, continue. Let's wait. And here we go. It's loading for us. It can take a lot of time. It, you, you can go, guys, for the premium plan. There is the pro, the business, the enterprise. Each one of them has its own uh, kind of like uh, features. Uh, each one gets more expensive, but by the end, it will be much more better for you. So now it will be a quick scan for the website. So now they are scanning for existing DNS records. Uh, they are scanning uh, DNS records, import automatically into Cloudflare configurations so basically here they are they copied them and now we can simply click on continue now done check name servers 
and get started or we can just finish them later if we don't want to so here we have created it already so let me just try now to save it it can take some time because i have just created it as you can see uh for the review settings we have to finish all of that so uh save let's use that save um we can just use this one and finish so now we just have to wait uh, one of three items so review let's get started save uh, turn this on save this is correct and everything is done so now everything yep the complete your name server setup so we have completed it but it is not yet activated on cloudflare so we have to give it a little bit of time until it becomes activated so what you need to do is just give it a little bit of time make sure that you have went your account through the settings on your website and make sure to give it uh, the HTTPS redirect so ensure that visits to uh, if people are visiting HTTP it will redirect them to the HTTPS and just like that you have secured your account just wait a little bit more until it is activated and working efficiently so you will have no longer this page but in uh, in other case you will have like an activated page with this one is activated after you have that you will have then to save it just like that but for now uh, they are actually this cloud for, for the domain so we have to actually add another domain let me just add a new domain for example uh, let me just try a new one this one for now uh, let's add a site and let's see if it's gonna work for now we have to remove this remove this one accept and we're going to go through the same thing that we have been through the beginning so free continue give it a lot of time and I don't know why, but the following item is still need to be completed for a setup. So that's why they have asking me for this blogger website. So let's do that really quick. We just have to wait for this to be gone. So guys, now I have added it. I have done everything for the second domain. And as you can see, I have been logged in and I have successfully uh, connected it. So the settings has been saved successfully. And now if I went to the settings, let me just go to the settings here. Uh, here we go privacy settings or we can just basically click on this website and then click into the settings of it or you can click on add sites so there is basically a lot of things to go through so basically here you can actually click into the settings and you will find that the integration the of the the actual uh, cloud layer has been done successfully without any problems and as you can see here it, we don't really have to finish that uh, even though it is not accepted uh, since the, it has been just created but uh, it's just appears that you don't really have to wait until it gets accepted simply just by accepting or creating the domain and adding it to cloudflare account it will be directly accepted by ezoic simply just like that without getting accepted by cloudflare themselves and yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you a lot for guys watching and see you guys in the next tutorial